Good morning, students. Today we will discuss about the synopsis of the group 14 elements. Okay. So in that, the position in the periodic table is there. The physical dimensions are there. Chemical properties, physical properties, their preparations, and some important compounds of the p-block elements. Okay. This p-block element is also called as what? Carbon family. All right. So first one. This group 14 elements, that is group 14 elements, called as what? Carbon family, right? So students here, the group is 14. So, with the electronic configuration, noble gas, NS2, NP2. So, how many elements are there in 14th group? Carbon is there, silicon is there, germanium is there, tannum is there, plumbum, this is tin, this is lead, and 114th element is there, that is UUQ. Okay, so this is a radioactive element. We won't bother about this. So these are considered as what? 14th group elements. Okay, so this carbon atomic number is 6. The silicon is 14. So this is 32. This is 50. This one is 82. Okay, so students here. The electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2, written as what? Helium, 2s2, 2p2. Here for silicon, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p2. So this is taken as neon, 3s2, 3p2. Similarly, Argon, 4s2, 4p2. Krypton, 5s2, 5p2. Xenon, 6s2, 6p2. This shows what? The general electronic configuration of 14th group elements. Okay. So the next, another one is the real. In this argon, this is 3d10, 4s2, 4p2. Here, d orbitals also involved. Remember one, this is noble gas. 3d10, 4s2, 4p2. Okay, that configuration is also there. Next. For this, plumbum, what happens? Along with xenon, it is 4f14, 5d10, 6s2, 6p2 because this is neon con xenon configuration ends with what ns2 np6 configuration you just remember the outermost configuration students that is ns2 np2 there are four valence electrons in the outermost shell so their valency is four so the species or the elements in the 14th group are called as what tetravalent species okay so next what is its physical dimension okay what happens to its atomic radius ionic radius and density so students as we know atomic radius along the group increases from carbon to lead. So the trend follows carbon is less than, silicon is less than, germanium is less than, strontium is less than plumbum. So this is least in size, this is greater in size. Okay. If you come to ionic radius, that is also thin, increases along group from what carbon to plumbum increases gradually next one the density 
so density also students increases also why so density is equal to by volume so volume means nothing but size if size increases then what happens sorry density is directly proportional to mass along the group mass of the atom also increases if mass increases then density also increases okay next one the physical properties what are their physical properties so in that first one, atomic and covalent radii atomic and covalent radii trend important as i told you carbon is less than silicon less than germanium less than tin less than pb okay their ionization energy i am writing students only the periodic trends atomic variation ionization energy electron negativity electron positivity oxidation state melting point boiling point and that okay so ionization energy is there what happens to the ionization energy carbon has more ionization energy compared to silicon compared to germanium tin and lead okay why this so because if size is less we require more energy if size is more we require less energy the ionization energy follows the trend or decreases from carbon to lead okay next electronegativity electronegativity as we know students electronegativity in increases along the period decreases along the group but here the trend changes so carbon is of course electronegative than silicon but this is approximately equal to germanium approximately equal to tin but lead is electropositive than this okay so this one is highly electropositive compared to this the this is the trend follows in the group with respect to electronegativity carbon is greater than silicon silicon germanium lead are equal so approximately equal so the trend follows this manner okay this is my for silicon germanium stannum all are equal okay next next one is oxidation state so students the oxidation state of these elements is plus 4 okay the state of plus 4 oxidation state decreases down the group decreases down the group while that of plus 2 increases so students as we move down the group the stability of the higher oxides higher oxidation state decreases and lower oxidation state increases in the last class also i told you for boron is there the plus 1 oxidation state follows in this manner b plus 3 aluminum plus 3 gallium plus 3 indium plus 3 and thallium plus 3 so this is less stable in plus 3 oxidation state if we consider plus 1 this one is greater than this one than this one than this one than this one of course these two never exist in plus 1 oxidation state so the stability of the higher oxidation state decreases along the group and in the stability of the lower oxidation state increases along the group the trend follows if you want to write the ions here silicon carbon silicon germanium tin lead so these are with plus 4 oxidation state along the group decreases means carbon has more iron um, stability in plus 4 oxidation state than in plus 2 if you consider the plus 2 oxidation state the trend follows this manner okay so carbon is least stable in plus 2 oxidation state and lead is least stable in plus 4 oxidation state so along the group remember one thing along the group st 
stability of higher oxidation state decreases okay next lower similarly lower oxidation state stability increases okay so the next one is their chemical properties how the group protein elements react with the respective elements chemical properties okay students so in this chemical property all elements decompose so first one is reaction with water you consider okay so if carbon reacts with water it form carbon monoxide with the liberation of h2 gas the mixture of co and h2 is called as what water gas okay when this all the metals except that carbon when it reacts with h2o they also form oxides with the liberation of hydrogen gas that metal is silicon and tin so listen students this plumber okay this is never react it has unaffected by the okay water is cannot be reacted with this pb because of the formation of table stable layer of oxide so pbo is a stable oxide layer okay due to the formation of the stable oxide layer this one this become inert or unaffected okay so this is carbon reacts with water it form carbon monoxide water molecule sorry carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas if except carbon remaining elements reacts with water they form oxides with the liberation of h2 gas okay if pb is inert to the reaction with are unaffected by the formation of what that oxide layer the oxide layer of pbo is highly stable okay students next if you want to react with dilute acids water completes then if you want to react with these protein group elements with the dilute acids then what happens the carbon silicon germanium are unaffected by dilute acids okay so this carbon silicon germanium are unaffected by dilute acid remember i'm not mentioning dilute acid okay so in the dilute acid only this sudden will sorry sn will react to form essential to with the liberation of h2 and metal reacts with acids it forms salt with the liberation of acid okay so it is a slow reaction so dilute acid is there then it is a slow reaction concentrated acid is there then it is strong reaction okay pb also dissolves in dilute hcl but pb does not dissolve in pbso4 and with hot concentrated h2so4 reaction is slow due to the formation of pbso4 protein so students as i told you remember one thing pbs is a pbs is a black precipitate at a black color substance pbso4 is white color substance okay so you know better example is taj mahal so that taj mahal is made up of what the mar precious white marbles right so that is what happens sometimes if acid rain came means then what happens due to the formation of h2so4 so this is black color this is white color sorry this is white black color this is white color so it reacts with lead in water and form pbs on the surface of the metal so if we polish that then what happens this pbs reacts with that 
H2O or some other compounds, it forms PBSO4 and becomes white. So because of the formation of this white, again it shines. Okay. So this is one thing, but you have to remember PB does not dissolve in what dilute H2SO4, but it dissolves in dilute HCl. The reaction is also not possible. But this carbon, silicon, germanium never affected by dilute acids. They only react in presence of strong acid. Okay. Next one is okay. If you consider concentrated acid in that also, you know. The carbon consists of their allotropic forms in that diamond is unaffected by concentrated acid as well as dilute acid. But graphite changes, it changes to malleic acid on graphitic acid. Okay. So students, the C12H6O12. So graphite when it reacts with concentrated acids forms this this is called as what benzene hexacarbonyl hexacarboxylic acid remember thing benzene hexacarboxylic acid okay that means your benzene ring is there to that COOH, 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 COOH is there. Okay. This is benzene hexacarboxylic acid. So when graphite reacts with this concentrated acid, it forms this type of compound. Okay. Next and these are becomes very... Oh, so inert to the concentrated HNO3 solutions. Okay. If you want to check the important reactions, the oxides, the chlorides, XO2 type compounds, if they treated with HCl, they form what? XCl4 plus 2H2O aromatic MO2 oxides reacts in presence of acid they form MCl4 plus 2H2O X may be sorry M may be what germanium and lead okay this PbO2 when it reacts with HNO3 that is concentrated HNO3 it forms PbNO3 twice plus 2H2O plus O2. Okay, to balance this, you may take this molds here. Means just remember, when lead oxide reacts with HNO3, they form lead nitrate. Okay, when CO reacts with nickel, it form what? Nickel tetracarbonyl. Okay, next, if CCl4 is treated with H2O in presence of iron or copper as a catalyst then it form hypochloric acid to 2 h okay next this m these metals reacts with alkalis in presence of water or aqueous solution of a alkalis they form any two XO3 compounds, what they are called as X, sorry, Na2 MO3 type compounds, sodium, sodium metoxides. Okay. And along with the liberation of H2 gas, your M may be silicon and tin. Okay. You understood, students? So, next, if you consider only the silicon, this. Silicon tetrachloride, when it is treated in presence of H2O, it forms silicon tetrahydroxide or silicon hydroxide with the liberation of 4 moles of HCl. Okay, next, if tin oxide is treated with 2 NaOH alkali, it forms, as I told you, Na2SNO2 plus. H2O. Okay. Next. 
the SnO2 is reacts with NaOH, then it form Na2 SnO3 plus H2O. Remember the difference, students. This is here plus two state, here plus four state. Okay. If this is also stannous oxide, stannic oxide. So if they react with NaOH, so this will form, this will form. This type of reactions are very, very important. In the what they will form in the plus two oxidation state or in the four oxidation state. So next, you know, Grignard reagent or RMTX type of compound, if they react with Li. Cl4, then they form R S I C L3 plus M G C L2. Are you may take here particularly C L it forms M G C L2. Okay. R is a alkyl group. Next, R C L type compounds are there. If they react with silicon in presence of copper, they form R2 S I. Cl2. Here it is in zero oxidation state. Here it is in plus four oxidation state. Okay. These are called as what students? Silicons. Okay. So this is all about the important reactions. Okay. So you may not that much remember these things. You can easily came to know students when you observe the reaction. So just remember what happens when they react with bond. Okay, next. Next one is nature of oxides. Monoxides are there, dioxides are there, correct? In the monoxides, I'll, I'll say they form oxides. So this group, the carbon, the carbon family elements forms the oxides which are amphoteric in nature. But if we consider along the group, they form, I told you they are in the plus four oxidation, plus two oxidation state as well as plus four oxidation state. Whether they are in plus two oxidation state, they form the oxides like CO, SiO, GeO, SnO, PPO. If they are in plus four oxidation state, they form CO2, SiO2, GeO2, SnO2 and PBO2. So students along the group, the acidic character increases, sorry, acidic character decreases, basic character increases okay here co is neutral in nature it is not acidic as well as basic so this one is acidic this one is amphoteric okay so along the group acidic character decreases similarly here also these three CO2, SiO2, GeO2 are acidic and these two are amphoteric. In the both the case, the acidic character decreases. You may have someone CO2, SiO2 they are given. Which one is more acidic means CO2 is more acidic. Okay. Next. Some important compounds of carbon and silicon. So I'll discuss about the important compounds of carbon first. You know carbon has its allotropic forms. So carbon can exist in the form of coke, coal, okay. The other under powdered amorphous form in the crystalline form, they exist in graphite, fullerene, and diamond. Okay, in diamond, sp3 hybridized is there in uh, uh, graphite sp2 hybridized is there you may know very well about the students i won't take much time to explaining the allotropic forms of carbon and i will say the important compounds of carbon that is carbon monoxide how it is prepared this carbon is treated with oxygen then it form what carbon monoxide this is the first step there is one thing is there, carbon is treated with oxygen, then it will form carbon monoxide. Another one, decomposition of formic acid. Decomposition 
in presence of concentrated H2SO4. Then it forms CO plus H2O. Okay. Next, if carbon is treated with water, then it will form CO plus H2. This is also a composition reaction only. So in presence of heat only, that takes place. So this mixture is called as, as I told you, this is a water gas. Okay. So this carbon, when it is reacted with air, with oxygen and nitrogen, it forms CO plus N2 type Compound. So this is called as what? Producer gas. Producer gas. These two are important students. In hydrogen chapter also we learn that. You know the better thing is the carbon monoxide is used as this is this is preparation. This is chemical property. Okay, so in this chemical property, one thing I'll say, this carbon monoxide is used as good reducing agent. Good reducing agent. Okay, so one example, so carbon is there, oxygen is there, we can make it into a carbon dioxide. Okay, if carbon is used, it is changes to what? Fe2O3. Then it reduces this Fe2 to Fe plus 3CO2. Okay. If zinc oxide is there, it reduces zinc oxide to zinc with the liberation of CO2. Okay. If this CO is treated with nickel at 80 degrees Celsius, then what happens? It forms nickel tetracarbonyl. If it is treated with iron, then it forms iron pentacarbonyl. These two are complexes. These two are complexes. This is five moles. This is four moles. Okay. So this is the very important thing, students. The one thing you have to remember is this is a highly poisonous gas due to the formation of complex with Hemoglobin. As I told you, this is hemoglobin. Iron is there. With the iron, this will form. As I told you, students, when the complex will form, then the secondary linkage cannot be easily ionizable. It forms a strong bond. Okay? That's why, due to the formation of the complex with this iron, which is 300 times more stable than the oxygen and HP, yeah, HP bond. So, in the respiration, we did what? Exchange of oxygen and water vapor takes place, which is bonded to what? Iron. Correct? So in that iron, this if it is bonded to CO, then it is becomes 300 times more stable than this bond. Okay? It is not easy to break this bond with the oxygen molecule. Hence, it acts as what? Poisonous gas. Due to the formation of what? And that complex with that carbon monoxide okay so structure if we consider means so this carbon as a triple bond structure correct but it can be written as in the isomer in this form correct the resonance structure for this is here it is minus Sorry, here it is plus, here it is minus. Then if you did three bonds, oxygen, then here it is plus, here it is minus. So you may think the hybrid structure, what happens, students? Carbon, triple bond, O. The third bond is written in this manner because it is a coordinate bond. The complete electrons of oxygen is transferred to pi orbitals of the carbon and shared between carbon and oxygen. That is called as what? Coordinate bond. Okay. The, the next one is carbon dioxide. So how it is prepared? One thing, carbon is treated with CO2, it forms CO2. One thing. Okay. Next, decomposition of methane in presence of 
are combustion of hydrocarbons. They form CO2 plus H2O. Okay. And next, if CaCO3 is there, it reacts with any acids. It forms CaCl2 plus H2O plus CO2. These are the preparations of what? Carbon dioxide. So what is the use of this student? The chemical properties of the CO2 is if CO2 reacts with Mg, it forms MgO plus C. Okay. If CO2 reacts with H2O, it forms H2CO3. So this is an equilibrium reaction, forward as well as backward reaction favors. Okay. This CO2 reacts with CaCO, CaOH twice, then it forms CaCO3 plus H2O. Okay, this is one lime water test. So, this is lime water. As I told you, the aqueous solution of calcium hydroxide is called as what? Lime water. In the salt analysis, you will do lime water test. Means, if uh, it is present if the gas evolved gas is passed through the lime water then it turns milky means that is the formation of CaCO3 results in the presence of what that presence of the uh, CO2 gas okay the next one is if CO2 is there if it reacts with zinc then it is formed ZnO plus CO so students, from here, what you are going to use here, this one acts as a good oxidizing agent. It acts as a good oxidizing agent. Okay, similarly, CO2 is there. If carbon is there, it forms 2CO. So removal of oxygen takes place means that undergoes reduction. One which undergoes reduction that is called as oxidizing agent agent so the best example of this uh, co2 is that is photosynthesis how it takes place water molecule and the carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere is used by what plants then they convert them into what food c6h12o6 along with the liberation of o2 so this is six moles six moles this is also six moles so during photosynthesis, we will get enormous amount of the oxygen molecule which we, which we use to break. Okay, so that is because of what plants use the CO2 in the atmosphere along with the water molecule to form this. Okay, next it is also used in manufacture of soda. It is also used in the mix. Carbosine, a mixture of O2 and CO2 are artificial respiratory, especially in the pneumonia patients. Okay, for pneumonia patients, the mixture of 5 to 10 percent of O2 and CO2 is given. O2 is in 100 percent, CO2 is 5 to 10 percent, remaining is O2. The mixture of these two is used for what? Oxygen cylinder or artificial respiratory respiration, especially for pneumonia students so pneumonia patients this mixture is called as what carbozen okay and this can also be used as fire extinguisher okay this is also used as fire extinguisher next one is only important compounds of carbon are what carbon monoxide and Carbon dioxide, we are studying in this inorganic chemistry, but organic chemistry, if it thought means it is full of carbon compounds only. But for now, for inorganic chemistry, I said only this much. Okay. So the next one is silicon oxide. So silicon oxide, its preparation is directly they occur from what? That okay. So the structure of silicon oxide is in this manner. Okay, so here what you came to know 
वन सिलिकॉन इज फर्दर बॉन्डेड टू वन फोर ऑक्सीजन अंडरस्टूड वन सिलिकॉन इज बॉन्डेड टू सराउंडिंग टू फोर ऑक्सीजन हेट्राहेड्री दे फॉर्म ए नेटवर्क लाइक सॉलिड विच इज नॉन रिएक्टिव अंडरस्टूड because the bond enthalpy to break this bond is very very high so if sio2 is treated with naoh in presence of a strong heat or a strong reactant or any hfr naoh so if it is react with hf in presence of naoh then now the reaction takes place first it forms na2so3 sodium silicate if the sodium silicate is treated with hf so if sio2 is treated with hf then it form sif4 plus h2o this is acid this is base so in for hcl h2so4 this become what inert okay the silica is used in what students it is used in the preparation of quartz okay and it is also used in the preparation of piezo electric materials okay it is also produced in accurate clocks modern radio television broadcasting and mobile radio communications okay silica gel is used as a drying agent and as a supporter for the chromatography for example in the chromatography i told solid phase is there mobile phase is there and stationary phase that stationary phase may be a solid if it is solid that is made up of what that silica gel okay next ek this one kesalgar an amorphous form of a silica is used for filtration plants okay this is silicon dioxide next one is silicons okay so silicons its structure is very very important that is silicon further bonded to r correct here is the again it is treated with what r r again bond is there okay continue silicon r r bond is there so this is continuous structure this is called as what silicon so listen the partial structure is it is a polymer of alkyl silicon and oxygen compounds how did you write this n times this one r is left and this one m times that is called as what silicons this is the structure of silicons synthetic organo silicon polymer with the repeated repeated units of what r si o oh, here listen this is r is there the repeated units is only this much right here o is there so this is called as what the silicon how it is prepared so listen when methyl chloride or any alkyl chloride is treated with silicon in presence of copper at certain temperature it form ch3 twice sicl2 type compound okay if it is treated with h2o then it form ch3 twice si oh twice correct cl is replaced by hcl with the liberation of hcl gas okay this h h so this is a condensation polymer i'll write i'll write this structure si is there ch3 ch3 oh oh next plus h o s i ch3 ch3 oh so by the removal of the water molecule it is a condensation polymer it form o ch3 ch3 o s i so this is the structure here all ch3 r group i'll write here okay, not this one silicon r r i hope you understood so this is the way how we get the silicon straight chain okay next 
So this is used as a sealant, grease, electrical insulators, and for waterproofing of fabrics. So this is biocompatible. So they are also used in the surgical and the cosmetic plants. Okay, this is what biocompatible. So there is no harmful effect due to this silicones. That's why this is used in what cosmetic plants and the surgical. instruments the last one compound of silicon that is silicates okay so silicates nothing but sio4 4 minus compound the structure of silicate is in this form oxygen is there in the tetrahedral form with a minus charge okay this is the structure of silicate so where the silicate used the silicate is used it what in geolites okay so geolites are the co silicon compounds or aluminum compounds in the presence of what sodium potassium or calcium if sodium silicate is there that is used in what preparation of glasses which were which we are going to used in what laboratory and borosilicate is there boron and silicate compounds are there okay so this is joined by what two or 1 2 3 4 carbon atoms in a tetrahedral manner in a three dimensional structure this is the structure of co2 okay so different types of silicates are there that is orthosilicates pyrosilicates cyclic or ring like silicates chain silicates sheet silicates three dimensional silicates so how they are classified based on their structures okay based on the structures they are classified as chain sheet cyclic three dimension pyrosilicate and the orthosilicate compounds in that you are going to remember only one thing students that is geolites okay so geolites are used as what catalyst in the petrochemical industries they used as catalyst in the petrochemical industries the very important one catalyst is zsm5 okay a type of a zeolite used to convert alcohol to gasoline used to convert alcohol to gasoline hydrated zeolites are zeolites are also used in ion exchangers of our water as i told you the synthetic resins are used in the actually the synthetic resins are used to obtain the pure water the demineralized mineralized water from what the impure water the cationic resin is there anionic resin is there those resins are nothing but geolite so this is all about the compounds of carbon the chemical properties and their compounds okay so in the tomorrow's class we will discuss some bits with regard this carbon family thank you